Hi, this is for the review of the Soundstream 85 ELTR for the Hyundai Elantra. It pertains to the 2011-2012 models and from what I've read works in some of the 13, maybe even 14 models, but not the 15. It's not an actual radio per se, it's just a, uh, it's kind of an upgrade for your current system, uh, which I'll get into in a little bit. This is the Soundstream model, but uh, from what I can tell, it's the same as the Fahrenheit or the uh, Power Acoustics, which from what I read is the same company, but just a different layout of the software, but it's all the same basic functions. So uh, here we go with the power on of the uh, system. Let me shut the door so it stops the ding ding. So the only drawback that I would say that it has so far is the boot up time. But uh, whatever function you have uh, on previously, whether it be XM or uh, uh, or your auxiliary uh, plug, which we'll get into that in a little bit as well, or your uh, regular radio. If you have either of these devices on, it will you'll hear it when you turn the radio on. For instance, I'll show you. Let me go back to let me get to the radio function. Okay. So I've got the radio on right now, right? So I'm gonna shut it off. It's gonna tell me goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, so when I turn the radio back on, even though the boot up takes a minute. Your radio still functions, so you don't you don't have to sit there in silence and wait. Also, the backup camera still works while it's booting as well, which we'll get into that. Pretty neat little little system here. Uh, one of the big drawbacks it was was the installation. It was pretty lengthy. Uh, if you've if you've never done anything like this, I suggest you get help. I used to install car stereos, and this was still difficult. So this is the main layout of the screen. You have this is the GPS signal at the top left. You have the uh, speedometer on the right, and you can change the layout of the icons by moving them around. Uh, you'll get into that. Uh, but the way I have it laid out now is the GPS at the top left, the uh, Bluetooth uh, on your from your phone, which is kind of a drawback because it doesn't display the artist names or titles or anything like that it just kind of streams you have to guess what you're playing this would be the uh, music from a thumb drive or an SD card which I have installed down here little module that it comes with I have it here right now currently the SD card in there is the maps which you should use I would never I wouldn't suggest putting mp3s or pictures on that thing because it's slow I have a little stubby USB adapter right there. Uh, let me take this out of there. That's the uh, Hyundai plug that I don't use much anymore. comes with an auxiliary plug that you have to plug in uh, in order to use some of the functions like the streaming of the Bluetooth or the uh, play movies and things like that. So, but I keep it closed. That's why it's dirty in there. More functions include it going to screensaver mode after uh, a minute or two of not use. This is the default screensaver mode. I think you can you can change desktops or even add desktops. Um, the speedometer actually works, but from what I can tell, it's three or four miles off according to my my speedometer. To get off of the screen, just tap anywhere on the screen and it takes you back to the main screen. Now, to, you can play movies up here. I have a couple of movies um, on that thumb drive I just showed you. And it will go ahead and stream and play the first video on the list, or I think it even continues where you left off. Um, now, they say that it only works when the parking brake is on, if you hooked it up correctly. But all you got to do is ground that parking brake wire that comes with the kit. Just ground it to any ground. And then you tap on the screen, it goes to a full screen. Now, the one of the, another drawbacks that I've seen 
See how it's playing my car and my radio? So I, it has to be on auxiliary to play the sound from a movie. So in order to get to that, I would hit trip. Trip takes you back to the radio screen. I'm going to press auxiliary. And as you can hear, my audio is coming back on. So I hit trip to go back to where it was. And it, and it sounds great in here. It's like movie theater style because of all your speakers. And that'll disappear. It'll bar at the bottom will disappear after a while. I get it. It plays DivX AVI files. It are the, the best movies. So I'm going to stop it. Just tap the screen to stop it. And then hit the X to close. It takes you back to the home screen. And then the steering wheel is the same thing as kind of hitting the trip button. I, I keep it on my screen because I like to go back to my home my, uh, my main radio screen at any point. As you can see, it looks just like the other, like the stock screen, but it's all digital. And um, you got my, uh, go back to AM here. I got my radio, or FM, I got my radio station. And relating to things the way I you can do XM. My XM is, uh, everything works great. I mean, it works just like it should. One other good function is the, the Bluetooth calling through the hands-free calling through your, your system here. Press the phone button. And as you can see, it's got a really cool, easy to use layout, no frills. Just just use it and go. The dialing's pretty it automatically connects to my phone. Um, it works pretty well. So if I want it also keeps your uh, address book. Then you can scroll through your numbers and things like that. It's pretty cool. Works great. And then you hit dial. I have my microphone mounted right up the uh, side panel here, kind of pointing towards me. Uh, again, the GPS antenna is in that corner. And uh, it retains everything else, you don't have to change anything. So I'm going to get out of the phone here, go back to the main screen again. GPS. GPS works pretty well. Screen. Takes a minute to load. It also continues to play your radio, but I don't have the radio on right now. For the money, this is a pretty good system, and the retail on this was, I don't know, 140 or so. In the green, there's your maps. And you can tap on the screen, pull up your options. This, there's a bunch of options. I'm not going to go through them all because there's too many. To, to close the GPS, hit configure, exit. Additionally, when you have the GPS on, you can press the trip button to get back to your radio, or you can go, you can hit picture in picture. There's, a, there's lots of functions that you'll, you'll discover on this thing. So here is the backup camera. Um, it works pretty well. As soon as you shift in reverse, it automatically switches to the camera. I have the pile PLCM18. It was like 20, 22 bucks or something. Uh, uh, Walmart.com or Amazon or something like that. Anyway, I'll shift it into reverse. And as you see, there's a giant tree behind me because I'm backed into a parking space. But I'll pull forward. I'll back up. And you'll see. It's pretty good. Now, if you buy a camera that has lines built into it, that's fine. But this model of uh, camera, or this model of radio, comes with a built-in um, configuration to you turn the lines on or off. So if you don't have lines on your camera, you can, you can turn on the lines by going to the options, clicking options, and hit rear guidelines right there. Playing MP3s or anything uh, from a USB is pretty cool. Comes up, uh, just let it do its thing, let it load. Remember, I said before it has to be on auxiliary, or else you get no sound. He says it has You're playing your radio right now, if you hear it. So make sure you go to trip, which takes you to the main radio. Put auxiliary. Back to trip. Back to what you're playing. 
you can turn the volume up and down here. But you can also turn it up and down here. And move over to the next song. Or you can pull up the list. And scroll through your list of songs. You can also uh, set an equalizer. There's several options down here. So that's it for my review of this radio. It's pretty good. Uh, I would recommend it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.